How to make a rotating parametric sunscreen facade. Let's start. Go to file. Let's create a new family. Uh, go to metric and select the metric generic pattern base. Open. Okay. Select the grid. Let's change the horizontal and vertical spacing to 2000 millimeter. <coughs> okay. Let's change the scale to 1 is to 50. Select the grid. Uh, change the pattern to uh, rhomboid. Okay. Next, select these two reference points, spline through points, check reference line. Okay, select reference point, pick at midpoint. Okay. Then set work plane, set the vertical work plane, okay, select, pick, then select the line, make it reference, pick at reference point, draw a line vertical, okay, make it 600. Next, uh, go to create, select the angular dimension, okay, let's change the scale to 1 is to 20, select the dimension, let's create a parameter, <coughs> name it angle, Make it instance, okay. Uh, go to family types. Let's change the value of the angle to 30. Okay, so we need to align this line, undo, select the line. Okay, let's move the line. Next, uh, align, select the reference point and select the line and lock. Now let's change the angle. Okay, good. 50. Okay, let's go back to 90. Okay, next, set work plane, set the this plane okay now let's draw a circle pick a reference point okay make a circle select the circle uh, make a check reference line okay next Uh, select reference point <coughs> pick at the quadrant of the circle pick at the quadrant okay pick pick okay next select these two reference point spline through points check reference line Select this two reference point, spline through points, check reference line. Okay, select this two reference point, spline through points, check reference line. 
Select these two reference point. <coughs> Spline through points. Check reference line. Okay. Let's go to family types. Let's try to change the angle. Okay, good. 70, 140. Okay. Back to 90. Next, select reference point. Pick. Uh, make a two reference point. Select the reference point. Go to normalize curve parameter. Change the value to 0.2. Okay, select the other one. Change the value to 0.2. Okay. Select the circle. Okay. Let's make a parameter for the circle. Let's select uh, create. Okay, we need to put the dimension here. <coughs> okay. Um, let's try create. So, let's turn off. Uh, let's set the work plane. Set the work plane. Okay, set that work plane now. Let's create the angle uh, the diameter select the diameter dimension okay select the dimension create parameter uh, name it diameter okay now let's try to change the value of the diameter 600 okay good okay let's change the scale to 10 select the two reference point okay select this two reference point uh, spline through points check reference line okay now select this reference point and this reference point spline through points check reference line select this two reference point select spline through points check reference line next Select this three reference line and this two reference line. Create a form. Okay, select the form. Okay, control tab, select the form. Positive offset, change it to 25 millimeter. The negative offset, 25 millimeter. Okay. <coughs> Go to family types. Let's try the parameters. Make okay. Let's change it. the angle to thirty. Okay, good. Okay, one eighty. Uh, ninety. Let's go back to ninety. Okay. Next, <coughs> select reference point, pick at this reference line, set the vertical plane, draw a circle, okay, let's change the radius to 50 millimeter, select the pole reference line and the circle, create a form, Okay, we have now the frame. Select the frame. <coughs> Select the frame. Uh, go to material. Pick the bottle. Let's create a new parameter. Uh, 
let's name it uh, frame finish okay next select the panel go to material pick the button let's create new parameter uh, let's name it panel finish okay okay next go to family types let's apply the materials for the frame finish okay let's open the library okay open Increase material library. Let's go to metal paint. Let's select the black metallic paint. Final finish. Let's go to material library. Okay. Okay. Let's go to metal paint. Let's select the white colors. Okay. <coughs> Let's change the angle to 30. Uh, let's make it 190. Okay. Okay, next. Uh, let's save the file. Save it to the desktop. Let's name it <coughs> Rotating Sun Screen. Okay, save. Make sure you uncheck the shared, load the project, okay, save, next, let's check the perspective, let's go back to level 1, uh, turn on show mass, select in place mass, Mass to OK. Uh, select the line. Let's create a line. OK. Next, go to 3D. Select the line. Create a form. Pick the top line. Adjust the height. OK. Uh, let's go to front view okay select the surface divide the surface okay select the pattern select the rhomboid okay let's adjust the u grid number to six and the b grid number to six okay Let's change again the V grid to 5. Okay. <coughs> Next. Uh, let's go to 3D view. Okay. Uh, let's rotate the view. Okay. Now select the pattern. Select the sunscreen, rotating sunscreen. Okay. Now, control tab to select the panel. Okay. Go to edit type. Let's change the diameter to 1.5. Apply. 
Okay, let's make it 1.4. Too small. Let's make it 1.6. Okay. Let's make it 1.8. Okay. I think it's good. Okay. Now select the pattern. Let's check the component flip. Okay. Now let's go to perspective. Select the panel you want to rotate. Let's make this to 210. Okay. Make it 220. Okay. Select some of the panel. Control tab to select. Okay. Let's make it 240. Okay. Now you have the rotating parametric sunscreen facade. Thank you.